last year. They shot a movie that you're never going to see. Legrand never should have produced it. I never should have written it. And my wife never should have left me. But she did. We spend every weekend together. Saturdays we'll go to the movies. And Sundays I'll take you to the zoo. Mommy, Pierre's got the King Kong suit. Danny, Mommy is not going to live here with you and Daddy anymore. You understand? Yes, but will you buy me a King Kong suit? What, sweetie? Pierre's not my friend anymore. No, why? Because he is an idiot. Oh. Is Mommy home? Uh, no, no, but she's coming home on Sunday. How many days until Sunday? Four. This way? <coughs> you have a cough, sweetie? Yes. How do you know? Don't tell me I'm too late for class, but what is that? Those are my colleagues. Oh. I apologize for their lack of costume. Oh, that's all right, Professor. Yeah, thanks. Simple. Danny, c'est l'heure de se coucher. Une minute. Non, non, pas un minute de plus. Ça fait un demi-heure que tu devais être couché. Oh my gosh! Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock? Bed. <laughs> Lights out. Quick. 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 Oh. I guess I put that in. Hello, Don. Junior Legrand. I must talk to you. Come to my office tomorrow at. Uh, let's make it 11. You don't think. Even the most uh, free thinking people must respect the. Uh, all right, feel that. Go on, feel that foot. Hello, Dad. Hey, what are you celebrating? It's one one for the boss. He's got a cold. A cold? I'm not going into a room with a man who has a cold. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Come in. I'm not the man. I am for you, sir. Oh. <laughs> Sit down. You're making me nervous. Sit down. Okay, okay. Or not? <laughs> What's so funny? It's not funny. If it had been a comedy, I wouldn't have called you. <laughs> Where, where'd you find this? I bought it. Julian, you having tax problems again? You don't like it? Yeah, yeah. It used to be my favorite line, but uh, 
That's all it is. That's more than that, Dana. It's a film. It's a film for a very exciting movie. A theme? Since when are you interested in themes? Well, it's decided. In December. I want to shoot in December. Julian, Julian. Mm. Listen, I know a place in Lausanne. Mm. It's peaceful, clean air, great food. You'll read a lot. In three months, this will all seem like a, a bad dream. Dan, uh, you really must meet Malcolm. Malcolm? I... Director. English. Oh, oh. I hate English directors. He's... He's very young. Oh, even worse. I, this, there's nothing more horrible than a young English director. Don't tell me. Uh, he's a genius. Went to Oxford, directed a Guinness commercial. I haven't been to Oxford, actually, Mr. Gillis. Dan doesn't like it. Dan didn't say that. Dan just thinks one line's a bit thin for a movie. Wasn't too thin for your novel. Kids, you're losing me. Take a look at the quotation in front of this book. Where'd you find that? It's out of print. My sister found it. A bookinist. Uh, what is it, Wendy? He cried again. I'm old Peter from Peter Pan by Jim Barry. Well, did I just buy Peter Pan? What's going on here? Don't worry. Just bought an idea. Do you like the book? I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, Malcolm specifically asked for you. Say, is this a crime story? No, no, not exactly. He asked for your scripts, then. Uh, but it's the author of the book that I'm interested in. I'm sorry, he's dead. How? Succumb to the lore of the zeros. Don't believe it. Yeah, I'll take this. Thanks, thanks. I <laughs> think I have one at home. Or two. Yeah, but this one's annotated. So, everything's all right then. You'll get on with it? I haven't said yes yet. Are you free tomorrow at five? That depends. I'm showing you Malcolm Short. Oh, you did a short, did you? Uh, no, it won lots of prizes. Well, well, uh, I'll, I'll uh, be there. Where is it? Uh, Studio Renoir. Ah, bonjour, monsieur. Mademoiselle Kaufmann, vous cherchez. Elle est au fond, monsieur. Alors, qu'est-ce que tu me conseilles de faire C'est l'occasion de ta vie. Oui, d'un côté, c'est chouette de tourner en Amérique. Mais trois mois, c'est trop. Je ne sais pas si nous supporterions la séparation. Pardon, je vous dérange. This is an honor. That naughty Dan. Am I interrupting anything No, no, no. Claude was uh, just going. His session's over. It was it. It is indeed to know each other. This is Claude Besson, mm. Daniel Gillis. Salut. Écoute, j'aurai un autre billet pour ton ami. Hein? Okay. Okay. Oui, demain. Demain, tant pis. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nice to meet you. <sighs> He's in love. Mm. Poor guy. <coughs> Go ahead, I'm all ears. Can I ask you a question? Mm-hmm. What's the... Uh, why do you always wear high heels? Well, I hope you didn't come here just to say that to me. Only that. I had to know. Well, I've heard so much about how difficult it is to walk in them that I'm wreaking my revenge on all those women who can walk around on their own two feet. Okay. You're my heroine. So do you want to talk about personal things first or business? Everything's personal. Everything's business. Marianne business? You know? We talked. Was she called? Hmm. Why? To talk about you. 
How exciting. Do you want her back? I don't know. Will this affect your work? Certainly. I don't think you should do this little grand project. Oh, he, he already gone? Ha. Right before lunch. And? I said I wouldn't talk to him until I talked to you. Well, I think he snapped. He wants to do an art film. Ew. Sounds like a midlife crisis. Yeah, he's got a director, some English wunderkind named Green, Malcolm Green. Maybe you can check him out. Well, we'll see if Legrand's serious first. How about if I ask for double your normal fee? How are you thinking? I need the commission. Hmm. <laughs> your love life? Oh, same old thing, you know. Uh, every night I hop on my broomstick and I fly through the bedroom window of some beautiful young man and I have my evil way with him. Hey, I never said you were a witch. Danny did. Same thing. I sleep with my window open. This is art. I don't know what it means, and I don't care. But this is art. Hmm. Seeing it makes me think of Kubrick and um, Bunuel and Chien de You see, really, I was aiming for something like Disney. What? You know, Walt, Mickey, Grumpy, Dumbo. <laughs> Okay, okay, fellas, uh, I go, because I'm sure uh, you'll have important things to talk about. And me, I'm just the writer. That means you agree? Give Marilyn a call. Fantastic. The fantastic thing will be my fee. Give her a call. Uh, are you going my way? Oh, Jesus, don't tell me you're one of these directors that doesn't drive. Hey, who was that girl in the short? Oh, uh, my sister. Oh, the reader. <clears throat> And uh, Legrand, have you known him for a while? Three months. Uh, we met in Cairns. Cairns? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Listen, Malcolm, let's get something straight from the start. I don't like directors. Well, neither do I. That's why we chose you. We knew you'd take your own course. Always refer yourself as we, Malcolm? Are you the Dauphin? Until tomorrow. Okay, about three, huh? Mm. He lived in an oldish building that looked kind of collapsible.
Come here, honey. What's the matter? Yeah. Well, did you have a bad dream? You got your daddy here. Okay. Shh, 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 shh. I think you're still asleep. Your daddy. Okay, okay. Shh. You got your daddy here, sweetie. I think you're having a bad dream. Huh? Show them about these wheat, silver play. Hi. Oh, sorry. Marianne, Danny's asking for you. No? Just that. What do you want me to do? Uh, Marianne, I mean. Mommy, are you coming? Are you coming? I want you to. Marianne. Hello? You're not sleepy today. You don't want to. You don't want a vacation. No, no. Really? Really sure. Really sure. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Welcome here. I don't want to know if you're there, but come round or call me. I'm willing to do a deal, but only with you. I don't want anything more to do with that agent of yours ever again. Hello, Dan? Daniel? Uh, well, I'll call back. It was about Legrand. He's flipped. He's practically asked us to put up money to co-produce this film. I won't tell you what I said, because Danny might hear. Bye for now. This is Malcolm Green. Um, I think your agent and my producer aren't exactly seeing eye to eye. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. Uh, we'll see each other at three at my place. Okay. Right, if he calls again, I'm out. And don't put him through till tomorrow morning. It's late. That'll give me a chance to speak to Catherine. No, no, the thing to do is to uh, say she's been kidnapped and uh, nobody wants to pay the ransom. Oh! Well, that's exactly what would happen, but uh, who'd want to kidnap me? Oh, it's full of perverts. So what's the problem? Oh, you, you didn't get that message? What? No, no. There's no problem. What, what, what do you mean? Legrand called back. And? We have an unconditional surrender. The man's cave. He's agreed to everything. He doesn't even want to discuss it anymore. He's crazy, isn't he? Oh, well, he said he'd sort it out, and he did. Who? Green. I have some information on him. He's done a couple of rock videos in London, apart from the famous short. Oh, which I saw yesterday. Did you like it? Hmm, not bad for a short. Dan, don't do this film. 
What? Listen, I've had people on the phone this morning from Delan's office. They want you to adapt another novel. Yeah, but why shouldn't we do uh, this? I don't know. I just have a bad feeling about it. Well, now we're going to turn down a project because you've got a bad feeling about it? The mad monkey came down from the tree and became the hunter. The same monkey stayed in the branches, you know, eating bananas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. That's all you got? What more do we need? Well, a few pages of uh, coherent thought, uh, treatment. You know, a script isn't... Uh... Yeah, but it's not a James Bond movie. I love James Bond movies. Dr. No from Russia with Love, Goldfinger. Those are great movies. Yeah, well, I've never seen them. I suppose you haven't. Uh, okay, Malcolm. Uh, listen. You know, you very dramatically presented me with a line from Peter Pan, which for me refers to the tragedy of growing up, right? Yeah. So maybe we can come up with a theme for the Mad Monkey, a theme for the movie. Yeah, but it's not a question of theme. A the movie's like a dream. Oh, but that's our title, isn't it? The Dream of the Mad Monkey. I love it. Mm-hmm. Do you mind if I make a call? No. It's kind of private. Um, there's another phone down there, to the right, just past the kitchen, through the iron gates. Seven, and you miss me. But I'll call you back if you leave a message after the tone coming up. Hi, Marilyn. It's uh, Danny Boy. Listen, I'm here with Norman Bates. It's a loony bin. It's a loony bin. Uh, get me out of this deal, return the money, call Legrand. I'm going home now. Goodbye. Oh, oh, oh. And uh, call Delon's office. Tell him uh, I'll do the novel. I haven't read it yet, but I'll do it. Get us, my sister Jenny. Do you have a light? You old enough to smoke? So it's your fault I'm here. Uh, I told him it was you who found the book. Uh, yeah, I'm Portobello Road. Well, I take it everywhere. I think you're very clever. It's very flattering. Thank you. Is it? Is it? Why do you live here? I live with my brother. I'm all the family he's got. He's all mine, aren't you? Work well. Nobody else, not even in England? No. Uh, we grew up with children's home together in London. 
No, I got my first job, she came with me. Yeah, that's all there is to say, really. He's asleep now, he's calm down. I didn't know you were here. What, uh... What's going on? I'm so confused. Do you know why I've really come? No. You're going to hit me. How come? I want to fuck you. Why? This honor? Oh, don't you want to? You say first. But you already know. What if I can't? What are you going to do? and you missed me. But I'll call you back if you leave a message after the tone coming up now. Marilyn, hi. Uh, uh, it's uh, Dan, I'm sorry to call you so late. <clears throat> Listen, it's important. Don't, don't call Legrand. I changed my mind. I, uh, I, I think, uh, I think I found a way to make the Malcolm Green story work. Okay. <clears throat> Talk to you later. Bye. So, for the next uh, several days, I went over to Malcolm Green's place. You know, every every uh, afternoon, no matter how bright and sunny it had been, it would deluge with rain, like it was building up for the flood. So that's how I see the opening of the movie. There's a boy, and he's on top of this skyscraper, and he's about to jump. <clears throat> the city's at his feet, and he knows he's about to die. Yeah, but who's the boy? One of uh, Peter Pan's lost boys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Because you're an egomaniac. How does it end? <sighs> he jumps. He jumps. And the story is one big flashback. So he kills himself? Yeah, he does. And actually, I don't see that. I just see him jumping. Oh, oh, oh. That's good. It just ends with him flying through the air. Yeah.
Jenny, huh? Mm. Uh, so, we haven't got much room, have we? What are you talking about? We've got the uh, opening and we've got the ending. Mm, and we've got the title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure we do. Don't tell. Please. Okay. So after a few more sessions like that, we went over to Legrand's villa to tell him the story of the movie he was going to produce. And the anguish mounts. Okay, the impact seems inevitable. It is. When he reaches the ground, the little angel opens his eyes and, and wakes up. It's all been a nightmare. Now the audience can relax and leave the cinema happy because nothing like that ever happened to their children. That boy is the sacred law of cinema. Well, maybe, but that doesn't interest me. What doesn't interest you? The public. That's your concern, not mine. The public is your problem, too. You know what kind of film I want to make. All you have to do is say whether you're interested or not. But don't ever tell me what I've got to do. Do you want to produce this film, yes or no? Well, then say it. Yes. All right. Then there's no more that needs to be said. Listen, Malcolm. I'm like a girl. If you want to fuck me, be nice. I'm going to the loo. Down, down there. Down there. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, but why? Why are you letting yourself be pushed around by a complete beginner? Strategy, Dan. With these boys, you have to build up their ego, give them their wings, to see if they can do anything. You don't want to tell me? Then you've got to help me. I need a script I can take to the bank. Julian, I, you should have taken my advice about the clinic in Lausanne. After that meeting, I holed up in my apartment for a couple of weeks. his house with the final draft of the script but he wanted me to rewrite the whole thing from start to finish three page scenes you know just dumb around right here
can't do this. Why not? Because it's you're gilding the lily is why. Uh, what does that mean? It means you're being self-indulgent. Well, I'm the director. Well, direct on the set. My brother expressed himself rather badly. Well, I think we may have uh, reached a genuine impasse. You know, he really respects you. He's got a funny way of showing it. Do you want some more coffee? I'm pouring you a new cup. Good boy just out a favor. Ha, ha, ha. 
Whoever you are, you better be good looking. Who else? Oh, God. I woke you up. Oh, I'm really sorry. Are you here as a friend or as a client? Friend, a friend, of course. Come in. No, no, I, I should, I should, uh, I should go. This is too stupid. Look at this, 5 a.m. No, 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 go back to sleep and uh, tomorrow it'll all seem like a dream. Uh, you'll call me up and say, Dan, were you at my uh, house at uh, 5 a.m.? I'll say, no. Daniel, will you come in? I'm getting pneumonia. Okay, okay. Well, I could cook you breakfast. Uh, no, maybe? Uh, yeah. I don't eat breakfast. No, really? I'm telling you, it's the most important meal of the day. Uh, I'm hysterical, aren't I? I'm, I'm like over-revved. Something, I'm sorry, you don't have a Valium, do you? Or a Livrium, you know the French consume more tranquilizers than any other nation? I'm English. Yeah, but you've got an American job. Oh. Gee. You look lovely without makeup. One day, we're going to have a little chat about this boyish charm of yours. Oh, no, really? Just like that. That hair over your eye like that. With those bedroomy eyes. Could we go there, then? Where, the bedroom? Good. I'll be real good. Don't worry about that. Maybe I want you to be good. I, I, uh, you tell me, okay? I'm, I'm real easy about these things. I guess. I'd take your boots off, but it'd be awkward. No, no, I, you've done too much already. Dan, did you do something you shouldn't? Yeah, I finished the script. How do I raise the money for it? Just tell me that. I don't know, like always, I guess. With a script, a novice director, and no stars? You're completely mad. Find a star. Star? There is no role for a star in this crap. Hey, get Marion Duran. I bet she'd be delighted to go for something quirky like this. You know, deep down, she's uh, kind of offbeat. Deep down, no doubt. And. We know somebody who could convince her. You'd do that for me? Me? No, 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 no. For La Duran, I'm like a coat she wore three seasons ago. No, no, no. Uh, you should uh, get Malcolm. He convinced you, it should have been much harder. Okay. Okay. I'll be my Malcolm Green. I'm going to call Malcolm, but to tell him to go to hell. I'm sick to death of this film. This time I'm serious. I've said it's over, and I mean it. Malcolm. Yes, I've read it. Honestly, I just can't set up a film like this. No, it's impossible. I can't. What? I was about to drive away when, without knowing why, I just switched the engine off and uh, 
faded. That, honey, did you, you can't play with you can't play with Daddy's razor, sweetheart. Okay. I know, I know. Don't do that. Promise me you won't play with Daddy's razor, okay? Okay. Tell me about your idea for marrying Durant. Well, you know Le Durant. Yes, I do. Well, from what I hear, you know her very well. Anyway, uh, well, you see, uh, Le Grand wouldn't dare suggest it to her, and, uh, well, I don't know her, so... Oh, Marion Durant is with Art Media. I that. know who her agent is. <laughs> you know. We both know that sending her this script just on its own, nothing else, there isn't a chance. None at all. You know, what we really need is someone to talk to her, someone to convince her. Oh, well, I'll give you her telephone number. No, don't be a fool. I want you to speak to her, don't I? No. So you won't help me? Hey, has LeGrand given you a contract yet? No, not yet. What do you ask? Jenny? Does she have a contract? spread the net. I took a shower, and I made some coffee, and I waited. She showed up in less than an hour. Don't you always turn up when your brother has a problem? We have to talk. 
just want to talk. You were with Malcolm when he met Legrand, right? Yes. So you're the lure. I always cast myself. So you went went to bed with him right away, or or did you even like uh, pretend to get to know him at first? I guess not. Make him coffee, or was it just you know I'm a whore? Hello, I'm Jenny the whore. I don't go to bed with him. I don't go to bed with him because he doesn't want to. I suck him. That's all he wants. After he comes in my mouth, he tells me the film will never be made. That Malcolm's a cretin and I'm an idiot. And then it's all over. A few days go by and he calls again. Away we go. And you think I want what he wants? Is that why you're here? If that's what you want. But you don't want that. You know what I want. Frightened? Want a glass of milk? Want me to tell you a story? Hmm? Daddy. Monsieur, je vous sers quelque chose, monsieur. Même blanc. I read your script. Legrand sent it to me, along with a check for the rest of the money he owes you. He's furious. What do you think? It's beautiful. Really? It's childlike, sad, useless, and beautiful. Useless. What does that mean? Is that a compliment? In my book, it is. May I give you a kiss? You may. No, you shouldn't have done that. That's bad luck. How's Danny? 
But he still talk about me as if I were the wicked witch of the West. <laughs> he talks less and less every day. I get over it. If you had a son, uh, would you feel guilty? If I were you, yes. Children shouldn't have children. No, I'm being serious. What do you want me to say to you? Give me a child and I'll tell you. Can you have children? Imagine that I can. So tell me, are you guys really going to shoot that porno movie you sent me? Or you're just jacking me off? Because, you know, I have another movie in Italy that I adore. Oh? Well, <coughs> I thought you liked porno movies. <laughs> no, no. It's, uh, uh, well, we're shooting in six weeks, and, uh, I wrote it with you in mind. Uh, you can't let me down. Mm, that's so sweet. Well, it's true. But the director, is he gay or...? No, no. Uh, no, he's straight and uh, young, very uh, good-looking. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he feels just like I do. There'd be no point in making the movie without you. No, please. No, really? <laughs> really? You're such a liar. I just spent the afternoon in Marion Duran's trailer now you've got to talk to her the thing depends on her decision i can't go you don't want to make the movie huh <sighs> jenny's been home for three days you know she could hey. telephone tonight or come home oh jenny's a big girl now right i've never let her down <sighs> how's she gonna feel if the movie falls through and it's her fault three days she's never done this before okay okay hey hey listen i'll i'll stay here i'll wait here okay mm. come on Time to go. Okay? Well, I should change, then. I mean, do I smell? Oh, lovely. She'll love you. Really, really. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, where should I take her? Let her decide. If Jenny calls or comes back, I'll be here. Yeah? Yeah, really. Okay?
rendez-vous. Qu'est-ce qui se passe Je m'en vais, monsieur. Comme ça, sans préavis On m'appelait du village. Ma soeur, elle est tombée malade. Oh, oh, je suis décevé. C'est l'âge, je crois. Euh, mais euh, je dois vous payer. Oh, non, pas besoin. Madame Marianne l'a déjà fait. Non, ça va J'espère que ce n'est pas grave. Hein. Quand revenez-vous Je ne sais pas. À mon âge, j'ai pas besoin de voir certaines choses. Et Daniel Il dort. Elle est avec lui. Non. Oh. because I'm feeling remorse. He's pretending. Who? Danny. He's pretending to be asleep. Because I'm here. Sorry, Dad. What? We couldn't do things any other way. We who? Malcolm and I. Tomorrow we'll have to scout locations. Come to say goodbye. You're always going away. Baby. I feel cold. We stayed like that for a little while. And then she left. weeks had gone by. The shoot had begun. And nobody needed me. And I felt useless. As usual. Except this time, more useless than ever. Excuse me. I'm sorry, is she working on the film? Who? Jenny Green? Yeah, I think so, but nobody knows exactly what she does. How long are you going to be?
be away. Dan, the boy won't be coming back here. What? He's coming to live with me. Why? He asked me. Today? No, no, two weeks ago. He had Kwana to call me. What about football practice, Danny? Everything's going really well, isn't it? It is. I've never seen my brother, sir. And you? Are you happy? He's completely different from the You know, everybody says so. Jenny, Jenny. There's some things uh, that I think we should talk about. Do you want to suck me? Catch me if you can. Wait, wait a minute.
How are you feeling? How do you think I feel? They've stopped the film. They've pulled the plug. Where's Jenny? She's just disappeared. No one knows where. I want to see her. You will. She's talking to someone. It's a little late for that, isn't it? This isn't the first time she slipped away. This isn't the first time she slipped away. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. Good morning. You slept a lot. We've given you sedative. You're gonna be all right. I can stuff the film. Where's Jenny? Who was the last person to see her? The Grand. The idiot knows nothing. The only thing that isn't a load of crap is the script. Done a fine job. You should publish it. Have you informed the police? Yes. Nothing. Found all the hospitals. Nothing. Jenny? Oh, Artie. Uh, yeah, I did phone you. I was wondering if you'd seen Jenny. I thought she may have got a plane and flown down. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, no, I'll, I'll let you know as soon as I know anything. No, oh, okay, thanks. She's nowhere. Just disappeared. Uh, I'll be back straight away. If, hang on a minute. get her into this tell the truth tell the truth she began she began I didn't want to lose her does what she wants. Malcolm, you're pimping your sister for a movie. <laughs> and I'm telling you that she's in charge. I don't know where she is. 
How long have you known them? Don't put the knife. Since you lived in London? Yes. Well, let me take a stab at the story. a beautiful witch named Marilyn who lived in London. One day she discovered her own little Tinkerbell and Peter Pan. And together they did many strange and uh, dangerous things. The witch ran away to Paris. Now it seems Peter wanted to make a picture about uh, a monkey and uh, uh, powder that makes you dream and uh, the secret games. But he needed somebody to put it all down because Peter Pan couldn't write. So he and Tink found the beautiful witch again in Paris who said, uh, well, I have a little friend named Danny. It was Jenny Show, boy. Let me finish. Yeah. You said, I think he's your guy. He's a real lost boy. And he has a friend named Legrand. And, uh, who's got a lot of money. And they both love little girl. Shut up. You sound ridiculous. Jesus, Jesus. I guess you guys played me like a violin. Well, you were only too happy to be played. should take her to see a doctor. Well, you do what you want. I don't care. <clears throat> you don't care what happens to her? No, I don't care. Because? She's 16 and I'm 30. <laughs> what? <laughs> because you're in love with her and not with me. <sighs> How do you know who I'm in love with? You should have put your arms around me. What are you doing here? What do you want? Where is she? Is that where you come? What do you want me to say? She's a crazy girl. did what? She wanted to get the movie back on track. She came to my house in the country. She disappeared into the bathroom. After a while, I went in to check on her, but she was dead. Where'd you take her? I left her in a ditch by the road. Then I went back. But the body was already gone. I collapsed on the bed. But I dreamed about Jenny. One day, the two surprises arrived in the mail. Some work for the BBC. Polishing dialogue for an Anglo-French production and uh, a postcard.
from somewhere in England. Dear Dan, my parents are real happy to see me. I'm well. Should have put my arms around you. No. Hi. Do you remember me, Mr. Gillis? No, I don't. Uh... I attended you at the hospital. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> My name is Ariane. Ariane. Do you mind if I sit with you? Oh, I don't know. Please. I hate eating alone. Dead bodies, uh, you know, corpses that are might have been because she was working in a hospital. Uh, street. Probably it was just fate. Nobody, uh, Whichever. I asked her where bodies found in the street ended up if there's no way of identifying them or nobody claims them. What happens to them? Where are they? Where are they? What a strange question. Oh, I know. Um, uh, I need to know for a script that I'm writing. Oh, I see. It was then that she told me about a place I hadn't heard about. A building in the Place Cambron. It's somewhere in Place Cambron. There are lots of tales told about that place. Hmm. The medical students do their practicals on the bodies that are not claimed. The corpses are treated to keep them from decomposing and then put in the tub. Put where? Down in the cellars of the building, there is a vast glass pool. So they say. And it's filled with phenic acid. Jean-Paul Jean-Paul 
Tu me files la moitié de ce qu'on a gagné, je dis pas à ta femme que t'as baisé avec celle-là. Arrête, arrête, tu connais. Hein. <rire> ah, je vois que ça m'a l'air attiré par les grosses huiles. Hé, hé, hé. Quoi Arrête. Hé, hey, regardez ça. C'est encore mieux tout à l'heure. Hein. Ah, c'est que le début. Merci beaucoup. Bon, un stupide accident. C'est la première fois qu'il prenait le métro. Ouais, oui. Il est dans un sale état. Ça fait pousser par une adversaire. Quoi, ça intéresse pas la petite dame Qu'est-ce que je raconte Hein Qu'est-ce qu'elle veut voir la petite dame Ah, je me doute ce qu'elle veut voir la petite dame. Hein Comment vous C'est un gosse. Non, c'est rien donné. Aucun. C'est ça qu'elle veut voir la petite dame. Excusez-moi, je peux pas trop. Hein, on respecte, hein, je sais pas trop, j'ai peur qu'ils attrapent froid. Attendez, c'est pas fini. Hein c'est pas fini ici, c'est pas les dégâts. Le père jumeau d'Hitler Ouais, bah j'espère au moins que vous avez emporté vos maillots. Hein. Allez, dépêchez-vous. Faites attention à l'escalier dangereux. C'est moi qui vous le dis, hein.
Who was it? The woman I knew. Were you looking for her? What about you? You were looking for somebody? Jenny, a few days before Christmas. Nobody showed up. But then she was a tough kid who would have expected nothing less. Il y a une dame qui vous attend en bas. Une dame dit Louis de Monté. Elle ne peut pas. You couldn't carry me to the bathroom, could you? I simply must have a pee. siren. All you need is a sea. Thank you. 